Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do is talk about some of the layer ones, in particular, Bitcoin. So guys, Bitcoin today broke $66,000 right here, right here. So when that happened, I must say the moose got loose and yeah, just put a smile on my face. So we're maybe going to do it again throughout the course of this video. Um, it's important to remember nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk. You're listening to a moose and it is October 14th of 2024. So depending on when you're watching this video, the prices may be different as well. So guys, Bitcoin is thriving. It did look like we were potentially going to break up. So right here, we've got, what is this? Like a falling wedge type pattern. Um, and you know, of course it could break down, but with the elections coming up, with the fact that we're post having, and I think sentiment is good and we've been at a lull for so long, like bear market, I think we're just primed to go to all time highs very soon. Um, so all time highs would be, would that be 67 or higher? Yeah, around 71,000, I guess we got to briefly. Guys, I think we're gonna get there sooner than later. And right now is, in my opinion, a good time to continue to accumulate because when everybody begins to get excited and start to buy crypto, like there's no tomorrow, that's going to be the time to take your profits. And guys, definitely subscribe to the channel. I've got tons of videos. If you guys want my 100X meme coin, I've got one that just came out. So that will be up here. Um, that is Raw Dog on Meld. And Meld itself is a gorgeous layer one that I think could thrive in the next you know, few months or so. Um, so we got that going on. And the main thing I want to talk about in this video is just where we're at overall. So again, we have elections coming in around 22 days. That's the U.S. elections. And it's going to be a big one. And, you know, one of the parties, if they get in, Bitcoin's going to rally. Um, on top of that, you've just got the fact that we are post having a lot of tokens already out there. Bitcoin is very well known globally now as the digital store value. So when Bitcoin pumps, typically everything else will pump with it. So let's take a look at some of these tokens that I think will do well. So here's some alternative tokens to Bitcoin. I'm watching also and it referred to as alts. So number one, we've got Ethereum, okay? So we have to talk about Ethereum. Ethereum's been rocking and rolling. Looks like it's up almost 7% on the week. Um, and on the month, doing all right. But on the year, up, what is that? Almost 70% as well. So Ethereum, guys, the introduction to an all-purpose smart contract-based blockchain, if you will. And yeah, a lot of projects are being built on top of ETH. I believe that Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin, perhaps not this cycle, but in the future, it most likely will by market cap. Um, so if we take a look, market cap, yeah, Ethereum is going to go nuts eventually. And the reason I say that is because Bitcoin is a store of value. It's great. But with Ethereum, you still have underlining blockchain technology for security. But on top of that, you can build things. You will have real world assets. You will have DeFi, right? So DeFi is basically, I guess you could say modernized banking on the blockchain where you could do things like lending and borrowing. I've got certain projects where I discuss this, but Ethereum is going to thrive. So that's a big one to watch out. Um, maybe these two are a little bit boring, but they do account for most of the market cap, around 75%. So here we got BNB doing all right. We got um, Tether, which is a stable. So, you know, not depegging there. Solana is going to be, in my opinion, one of the biggest winners for layer ones. So right here, I, it's my opinion, Solana is probably going to get to like $200 um, before you know it, I'm I'm assuming by December, Solana will be over $200 and potentially getting back to all time highs. Solana is going to do well because the narratives there, the token still cheap in comparison to Ethereum and Solana doesn't have a lot going on. 
even, you know, if you were to look at other than having the jupe aggregator, you know, there aren't a lot of games that I'm aware of. There, there isn't too much going on compared to even Ethereum or other projects. So Solana could do very well. Okay. So whether you believe it or not, whether you believe the numbers are skewed with VCs, whatever, macro perspective, I think Solana is going to do well. I do own a bit. USDC, I'm hoping to see this on Cardano. I know there's a lot of talks of, hey, we don't want it. We want our own. Um, I, I think it's it's got to be money related as well as the decentralized nature, but it does cost to get USDC on ADA. Um, but for whatever reason, I kind of just like Circle or USDC for as a stable coin. You know, it's on so many different chains where it makes sense. So XRP is a big one. Um, a lot of people have been talking about this. I believe that the founder or one of the people on XRP actually donated to one of the candidates. Um, so that's very interesting as well. So XRP, will this be the global banking token? Who knows? Who knows? Um, it may be a good idea to have a small position. So Dogecoin, the number one meme doing well. The big one I like, um, Ton. I think Ton could do very well. They're taking out a lot of friction. They're making it easy for people to use crypto. And I think as they build um, using Telegram, of course, this could be a monster token. Um, this will probably get to the $20, $30 range in the height of a bull market, which would be a nice 5, 6x. So Cardano, we need to talk about because a lot of people call me Cardano Maxi, um, but I'm actually not. I just like ADA because I've been using it for a while and I still like the proof of stake. It's it's gorgeous. The fact that you can earn a little bit of the new supply just by staking your token um, and it's cost effective. I like most things about Cardano. We now have smart contracts, etc. Cardano if it gets back to even just its all-time highs, we're going to see a 10x. So get ready for Cardano to do well. The next one I want to talk about is AVAX. So Avalanche has been around for a while. It is a fast layer one blockchain. And when it comes to crypto gaming in DeFi, there's definitely a spot for AVAX to thrive. So, you know, you got Alex Becker, other YouTubers, talking about Avalanche and other projects on it. Um, I believe we've heard about, what's the name? Off the Grid. So that's a new game that's coming out. I think that will do well. And def it's definitely primed to do well in the upcoming bull run. So it got up to, yeah, it was 115 bucks. I believe it was about, I bought it at a terrible time last time. I think I bought some at like 70 or 80. So I've never done well on AVAX, but again, I've been buying down here. So I've been buying, you know, around this fall and after. So I've been accumulating all the lows. So it's my opinion that, you know, similar to, let's take a look at Ada and others. I've been buying for the past two years. I've been catching these lows. So a 25 cent Ada, when I sell that at two, three, four, five dollars, $5, I'm going to be doing well. So that's what it's all about, right? So Guys, take profits when you get the chance. Nothing in this video, again, should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk. But it's my opinion that we're primed to go. So look at that. We're, we're above 66K. Um, I don't know if this is like a fake out because you never know, right? Guys, comment down below. Are we actually going to go to the moon or is the moose just letting loose and he's wrong? Like, we don't know for sure. But a lot of things make sense that Bitcoin will remain where it is if not thrive because the fact that we're post having um just looking at the history of bitcoin we tend to peak a little bit around this time um perhaps even late december january post having so that's where we're at so we have shiba another meme could do well bitcoin cash eh. i have some friends who are very bullish on polka dot so you got parachains, et cetera. This thing could do well in right now. I mean, at $4, I don't know what's going on with Polkadot. You guys could comment down below. 
this could be a clear winner. <laughs> um, I have some friends who are all in on Dot. Um, so chain link, right? Interoperability. That's a big thing too. Interoperability. Guys, we've been talking about it with Meld. Here's Meld. I know I'm going to bring it up again, but this is my number one holding right now. And look at what they built. So they have this going on right now. I have tons of videos on it. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Watch my videos. The Meld app is live. This is the next layer one that I think could definitely 100x. A 50 mil market cap in Meld. Guys, follow them on Twitter. That's all I'm going to mention for that. So Meld is a, is a low cap one. Chainlink would be safer. Um, what else can we hit on here? Sui's been dominating. I don't know a lot about this project. So I'm going to... I'm not going to talk about it too much. So what are we at here? A low of $2. So it's a big, it's a big project. looks like the market cap's pretty high right now, which is pretty interesting. Um, Cosmos, where's Cosmos at? I mean, there's so many projects I can talk about. Pepe, I think will do very well. I believe this will do very, 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 very well. Um, what was the height? So this is a meme coin, by the way. So be weary. Yeah, it did get pretty high. A lot of volume there. But again, how much more room can it go up? What else do we got? Render. Render's a big, big time project. So this is what? Decentralized GPUs, right? So this could be a massive winner here. I believe they even did a presentation with NVIDIA. So correct me I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, but these guys... This project could do very well. Monero, privacy coin. Shout out John McAfee. <laughs> uh, John McAfee and the Moose. If they got loose, how many beers would they drink together in one night? Dog with hat, a big soul meme. Um, IMX, what else we got? Ave, big time for DeFi. Filecoin, this thing was like 100 bucks last market. So the Moose spin around now, man. Yeah, this thing got really high. I mean, it shot up within, what is that? Like a week? A week it went nuts. So the Winklevoss twins own this, by the way. Or at least they did at one point. So you got to look at what the top guys are doing. Cosmos is another big one. I like their EPY. So I've been staking this. Good thing I am because I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> uh, but guys, that's all I want to cover. You know, we went over briefly the top 10 and more. So if you guys want, guys, head over to the link tree. I want you to protect your crypto, please. If you can, use code Moose. So follow the link on the link tree. You guys can pick up your tangent ring. They're now shipping. So I have, I just received my tracking for this. So when I get this, I will be doing a review. So you guys can choose your ring size. I did a complete video how to do that. Guys, give me some more views. I made that video for just like 10 people to watch apparently. But guys, Tandrum Ring, fantastic. You could also just pick up the Tandrum wallet. It works with an app and you could pick one up, a two card set for just $50. So on top of that, we also have online courses, links to everything you need to get started with crypto and NFTs. So with that being said, the moose is loose. Comment down below what is going to be the number one layer one performer in this next bull run. Cheers, everybody.